Yeah. Can I do that? You want to yeah, do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, A, B, C, common marker. Nice. I'm George Motes, and it's my job to make sure you are as obsessed about hamburgers as much as I am. We've gone deep into hamburger history, we've discussed technique, we've discussed method, but today is special because we're headed to the one place we haven't gone, the cosmos. And there's only one person I could think of to help take us there. Hey, look! Hey! Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson! Hello! A pl pleasure to, to meet you! Home. Thank you for being here! By the way, you said you've never been in the cosmos, but Earth is a planet in the cosmos. This is true. In this episode, mm -hmm. we're going to try to explore the intersection between burgers and space. Okay. You ready for this? To whatever extent I can assist that, I will. Give me some of your, uh, your what, some rules with you and burgers. If you want me to taste the burger, reduce how much stuff you put there on you it. There you go, I like that. You hear that? I'm Did just, you hear that? Just, why have 10 things? It must mean you don't actually like the burger. I couldn't agree more. Because you gotta, what are you doing? I agree. It's not a burger salad, it's just a burger. In that sense, I'm a purist. Good, I'm a purist as well. Okay. We have two missions today. Let's do the it. The first mission mm -hmm. is to make a burger for space. I went to the NASA Food Laboratory. In Houston. There, right? In Houston, yeah. In Planet Houston, yes. I loved being there. The problem was the burger was not very good. Well, it's see, like, a lot of what they do is to create sustenance for you so you don't right. die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different goal right. from having a really tasty course, hamburger. Course, yeah. What I understand, yes. astronauts crave cheeseburger. Well, they crave food with an intensity of flavor, because as we've come to learn, yeah. under those conditions, your taste buds become less acute. And right. so foods that have extra things going on in them right. become that much more valued. What I've done is I think I've developed a burger that NASA could use if they're listening. Hope you're listening because I've got a great burger for the Mars mission especially. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the Oklahoma fried onion burger? I've spent a lot of time making this burger. I know of it. Yeah. Okay. It's five basic ingredients. It's super simple. It's just beef, cheese, bun, salt, and onions. That's it. Okay. That's five, right? Mm -hmm. you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Super simple. This is just onion powder, mm -hmm. right? This is salt. Mm -hmm. And then I thought the cheese, ready for this one? I, I thought of this in the shower one morning. And I jumped out of the shower to make sure that I had it right, and sure enough, I did. Cheese powder. Yes. Is that the cheese and powder cheese. that goes in mac and cheese? It's a mac and cheese yeah. pack. Okay, I, I yeah. know. So you know. In you the know, day, right? that got me through <laughs> exams and things in the exactly. middle of the night. There it is, right? That is that. That is next up. Movie magic. Okay. Right? We've made a big meatball here. That's hot, yeah. Puffy's hot. Basically. <laughs> this is hot. It's hot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From what I understand, there are some serious challenges making food for space. You yeah. don't want powder anywhere. But, right, no powder. Because it's zero G, the powder yeah. gets everywhere. You breathe it in, it doesn't settle out. Yeah. So powder is not good. So things that have surface tension, like- oh, you know, Very helpful. Right, like mustards and sauces. Yes, so that it does not scatter right. across. Nice! <laughs> you can't do that in zero G, can you? You can't flip a burger. Yeah, if you did, no, you could flip it, it just won't return to the- Right. <laughs> I just want to make sure you smell this. It looks good. We're actually not going to eat this. Why not? What, because we're going to eat this. Why are you this. cooking food in front of me? <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's my choice? I eat this or this? It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the what? same thing. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's dehydrated. It's obviously, it's, it's freeze-dried. Yeah, there's, there's no this, there's no liquid there's in here. No liquid, yeah, at all. So what okay. we're going to do... Oh, so what you're doing is yeah. you're pre-making these for the space mission. And then you drip water into this, yes. reconstitute it, yes. and, and then you'll yes. need a grill. Yes. Because you already grilled it. Bingo. And it's been done to my specifications. You got a whole <laughs> Julia Child thing going we have, on look, here. I mean, we have, look, over here. Look at that. Oh we, my God. we borrowed a freeze drying machine wow. from our friend Babish. Thanks, Babish. Wow. Could have done it without Babish. Wow. So we're in my basement, 
and I'm showing everybody my secrets I keep down here, which is uh, George Mills. <laughs> I'm in Babbage's basement. <laughs> and my, uh, the, uh, the, this is the vacuum component of the freeze dryer that I've used twice, and now you guys are going to help me get some value for money out of, thank God. Uh, wow. Uh, okay, message for space. Uh, good, good luck. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you. And eat well. Thank you. <laughs> This is like, I mean, this, it sounds like it was a truck idling in my living room. And this has another 20 hours to go. Yes, we did a lot of tests this week. Look at that. It's perfect. It's perfect. You know what this looks like? <laughs> no, no, no. That's no, fine. <laughs> All the, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you, so you promised me this will taste good. It's not perfect, but it's also not crap either. Right. Looks like crap, but it's not crap. So, give me for a It looks like crap. <laughs> Another thing I learned from being obsessed with what goes on in space food is that you can't have buns. There's no bread allowed, right? Well, because of because it's one very guy. Crum it's a, crumbly. Did one guy screw that up? Who was it? I, somebody smuggled some in, if I remember correctly. Beef sandwich. Someone yeah. smuggled yeah. a corned beef sandwich. On so it's not like. it's not that space hates bread. It's that right. bread has crumbs, and right. once again, the crumbs float. So in space, I think a lot of sandwiches are made. Flour tortilla. Yeah. Yes. The flour tortillas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are actually made with a little bit of lard. These are friends of mine. So here we go. Okay. Questions ready? Okay. So one of these was one of those. Exactly. We rehyd we rehydrated these for about forty five minutes. That's all it takes. You know, to do that. It's a loud noise, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready for this one? Hey, look at look at that. It's even like steaming and wonderful. That's for you. Wow. The cheese is in there. Wow. Oh God, the onions are in there. The salt is in there. Wow. Everything you need is in there. This I think it's fine the way it is. Mm -hmm. But I, what I understand from uh, the astronauts, they tell They gotta punch it up a notch. They're sending up their own hot sauce, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have a special hot sauce here. No, we're not gonna do it. We're not last dab, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So Sean Evans uh, sent us uh, the classic, the number one. This is the first one. Nope. Oh, this one, it's pretty mild, right? Okay, a little more, yeah, man. A little, a little more. more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. All built in. Mm -hmm. What do you think? One stop shopping. Mm -hmm. oh, I thought it was good. Oh, wow. It is mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And you did it right. You freeze dried it, reconstituted it. We're good. Mm -hmm. All good. Okay. Mm. I'm going to eat the whole thing. I'm sitting here. And just trust me, the burger that I had at the laboratory at NASA. No. No, we're doing better, but for sure. Okay, thank you. No more money. Vouch me, Neil. Vouch me. But I like your mutton chops. Thank I, you. I used yeah. to have those. Thank you. When they were in style. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the next mission? Should I decide to accept it? <laughs> Wait a second. Ready for the next missions? Let's do this. Mission number two: the Platonic Ideal burger I think that we should send to the future. And the other day, I was watching an interview with Steven Spielberg. He said, what if there are aliens out there? And what if they're actually future us? They're not really from another galaxy. They're actually us in the future coming back. I want to make the burger. Wait, coming back what? Coming back from the future. Well, they said. made a time machine. Yeah. OK. And mm -hmm. they, they're going back to just see how we screwed everything up, right? Mm -hmm. But at this moment, we're making great burgers. We keep them simple, we make great burgers. What if we could make a burger that we could send to the future, right? The next mission is to make the platonic ideal. Okay. We're gonna make the burger. It's your idea yeah, of yeah. a platonic ideal. Right. And it's very similar Just to, to be you. clear. Right, my idea of a platonic, yeah. I know you're a burger guy, but to say this is the platonic idea. I know as a, a lot scientist, of ah, <laughs> As a scientist, precision right. Right. matters. Simple, again, only a few ingredients here. I'm gonna go back to the dawn of the hamburger when they, to make burgers, they actually they smashed balls of beef. Nice. So, the platonic idea, yeah. right? As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. a toasted bun, a toasted potato roll. It's squishy, but the side that's toasted is not squishy, so that there's a difference in texture between right. the two. Well, because to make that clear. it creates a prophylactic barrier. So yes. Greases and whatever don't go down yes. into that, right? Okay. I would have just said barrier would be enough. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -hmm. that's, this is known as the heel. This is the crown of the bun, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Technique for you there. <laughs> okay, so I gotta do this right. We'll contact patch there. If you nice. know about things from driving, call it contact. Oh, now, what you got here? What is that? What is that? This is, this is my uh, my own design. This is Smashula. Smashula. This is a heavyweight 12 gauge stainless steel. Whoa! Smashula. Yeah. Okay, so so the mass of, steel. of this and its own momentum. Yeah. Will do half the work. Right, but it also gives you control. Who's there? That's me. <laughs> Why do, you gotta be on my utensils? No, it's only on mine. That's, only, <laughs> that's how I know it's mine. 
I, 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 mean, I love you, man, but I, I'm, I'm gonna look at you while I'm cooking my food. No, I like the, the high mass. Yeah. The, then the gravity and the momentum gets you halfway there. You're gonna. I'm gonna do one. You're gonna okay. do one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Watch. Ready? Oh. Straight that. Let's notice how I'm off to the side like mm -hmm. that. See that? Oh, that's stuck already. Oh, there you go. See? And then okay. still more to go. Mm -hmm. So I want to go off the center. Let it peek out the bottom there. Okay. Look at that. What you you didn't smash it. You mashed it. I, this is very good. It's okay. <laughs> No, it's a difference. You're absolutely right. The Hulk Neil smashes. I'm making all this time of making mash burgers. Okay. Yeah. The Hulk Take the smashes. Off, right? He he does that. Yeah. So this is smash. Well, I'm ready to do that, but that's not what you did. No, you lose. You, did, you, you lose you control. Touched it and and mashed it. So this is a mash <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Do we understand each other? Uh, we do, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. You gotta yeah, think, think of like bricklaying. I got gotcha. you. There you go. It's gonna come off of that. Now, how do I make it come off? Here, just do this. You gotta lips, give it a little bit of gravity. There we go. Let's okay. We use gravity, right? Yeah, not too bad. Let me give it a little more. Let's see. Get the edges there. Look I love the edges. There you go. There you go. Nice. There you go. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna change the name of the damn thing. Now I have to dope the bun. It's called bun doping, right? I've never heard of this. Diced onions. We're gonna put a few pickles and then mustard. That's on the heel. That's on the heel. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Oh, good. You have good memory there. Keeping up. I, I do astrophysics. <laughs> I don't need a compliment that I remember the word heal from 90 seconds ago. <laughs> okay? So we did it. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. There we go. Wait, question? Yes. Pull that back. Yeah. This is way smaller than that. Right, this is a scraper. Is there a reason for that? There's a reason why. Because I like to be able, if I have a lot of burgers going, I have to be able to reach over. Surgically get in. Exactly. I Otherwise need, it's clumsy again. and the thing can't control. maneuver. Good. Control. I need control. Good. I need lots of control. Okay, so what good is power without, without control? control. <laughs> That's very That's good. Fine. So, slice of American cheese. Our lids on here. Do this. Make some room. There you go. Control. Let's eat it then. Uh, here we go. One patty. Two, two patty. Two. Yeah. Double. It's chuck. Oh, it's a double cheeseburger. Oh. We're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna share. Don't worry. Oh. We have here the platonic ideal. I think. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. It's medium well. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Oh. It's juicy. Juicy. Yeah. yeah, this is the idea. This is the burger I want to send to the future. You know what's good about this? The onions and pickles, yeah. as intense as they are if you eat them straight, yeah, are they belong in the same? They're tempered. Tempered. Yeah. And you didn't even cook them or anything. Mm -hmm. You just laid it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's additive rather than sort of instrumental to what's going on. Exactly. And again, this was proven over 120 years ago, and we got away from this. I mean, there's so many absurd burgers out there that have mac and cheese on it, and as you as you rightfully pointed out, too many ingredients, so it doesn't work. To me, grease is a condiment. Mmm. So what you would do is you'd send this into the future because they probably forgot about it. Yeah. In the oh, same no. way, they forgot about it? somebody should go back and recover the McDonald's french fries that were made with lard. Right. That's long right. forgotten. Long forgotten, unfortunately. I it's totally it's like yeah. in Renaissance Europe, they forgot how to make arches and mm -hmm. they forgot stuff that the Romans had figured out. Mm. Has to be rediscovered. Mm. So, yeah. You see the value in this stuff? Yes, I do. Yeah. Thank you, Neil. I do. We did it. Mission complete. If I were to do this myself, I would make two burgers out of this. In economics, there's something called a util. Okay. Which is a unit of satisfaction. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why when you buy candy bars, Often there's two of them in there. Yes. Like, what the hell is the point? <laughs> because you eat one, you have the satisfaction of beginning and ending one, and then you have another one. Mm, yeah. So you have more utils of satisfaction eating two of something, even if the weight of those two equals the weight of one that you'd otherwise eat. Right. So mm -hmm. I would order two separate hamburgers. Yes. And then I'd have two occasions to smile. I'm with you. Yes. <laughs> Um, we are Stardust. Is the hamburger Stardust? The cry out that we are Stardust, right. where the origin of our chemical elements is traceable to the crucibles of stars right. that manufactured elements up the periodic table from its base ingredients of hydrogen and helium. We are Stardust refers not only to humans, right. but to all living things on Earth. In fact, it includes Earth itself. Whoa. The burger has its place. Thank you, Neil. Within it. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Thank you. We did the right thing. We brought Neil deGrasse Tyson on the show. Wow. Thank you. Okay, time for me to beam back. From Here we go. Okay. Thanks for coming, Ready? Okay, great. <laughs> George Motes, Burger Scholar here. Please like and subscribe. Watch more episodes. Hit a button somewhere here. Hang on, I got a phone call. Hey there. Neil, what happened? You okay? <laughs>